Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 15th of 2020, well, it is titled Iridescent Clouds Over Sweden. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of what we call iridescent clouds. And you can see the shimmering colors. In fact, all the colors of the rainbow scattered through these clouds. And of course, that is not normally how we see clouds. Clouds tend to be a lot thicker than this. These are relatively thin clouds. And when you have nice, small, uniformly sized water droplets or ice crystals, then you can get a pattern of diffraction by how the light is bent. And you can see all of the different colors coming through this. Now we see something relatively similar in an oil slick and it might be reminiscent of like an oil slick to you or a soap bubble where you can get something very similar and get all of those shimmering colors. Now to order to see these they are very high clouds up in the stratosphere and lower part of the stratosphere. So much higher than the ordinary clouds we're used to seeing. And they're very thin. And in addition, they are composed of very similarly sized water droplets. Now when the sun is below the horizon for us on the surface of the Earth, for clouds high up in the atmosphere, it is not. And these clouds are still receiving sunlight from around the curvature of the Earth. So if you were up at these at the level of these clouds, you would still be able to see the sun off there off over the horizon because of your height up in the atmosphere. So you can often see things if you're at a higher altitude, you can see further along the horizon and further around the horizon than you would otherwise be able to. If you've watched a sunrise or a sunset, you will see that the top of a tree remains in sunlight or begins in sunlight before the sunlight reaches the ground. Well, this is even higher up in the atmosphere. So an even more extreme case that the sun can be well below the horizon, but still illuminate these clouds. Now these don't usually last very long because the clouds could get too thick in which case you're no longer going to see the iridescence. The sun could get higher up or lower down so it's not striking them at the right angle to give you this or uh, a number of other things that could happen to uh, stop the fact that you'd see them as iridescent and seeing all of those different colors. So here we get a chance to see those up in the sky and then reflected down in the lake in this image uh, seen over Sweden. So that was our picture of the day for January the 15th of 2020. It was titled Iridescent Clouds Over Sweden. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a stellar galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.